I am currently filming a TV show for HBO called Half Worlds. The one song on repeat would be uh, Heaven on the Ground by Jose James. My pet peeve is Unwashed Dishes. Alright, oh, it just bothers me. I get like. And like, I have to admit, sometimes I leave the dishes unwashed and it pisses me off as well. And like, it's, just like, it's just like a little thing that just bothers me like, every time when I see like a dish full of, like a sink full of unwashed dishes. So you say you're a neat freak? Uh, not really. There's something about like a neat kitchen really. Yeah. If I weren't a singer, I would really legit, like no joke, try to be a mixed martial artist. <laughs> Interesting, yeah? Um, I've always enjoyed like watching combat sports and the drive and the athleticism that these guys have behind them is inspiring. Um, before a show, I'm usually somewhere in between dizzy and nervous. Um, dizzy in the sense of like, you know, I was probably just like tired from the whole day of just craziness and like the pre-show calm and it makes you a little bit like it, it's almost like you know you're lying down and you suddenly stand up that's what the pre-show calm kind of feels like um, then you know it depends on the scale of the show sometimes it's nerves sometimes it's more like you know like, oh it's a set list um, there's no really there's no ritual really it's just kind of like step up there and uh, gauge the crowd and feed off that energy Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm famous. I'm. But you do get recognized. I'm. I'm. I, yeah, I would say I'm like recognized. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say famous. I. I would be a terrible famous person, only because like I feel like if you're like really famous, famous, you'd have to watch everything you say and do and like. Uh, I. I can't imagine. Like when that day comes, um, I'll be. Uh, I'll be hiding in a tree or something. Um, Personality-wise, I would say I am an introvert that has learned how to be an extrovert. If that makes sense. Um, books. I have a huge collection of books. Uh, uh, novels, graphic novels, comics. And, yeah. One thing that I cannot live without is sadly not my phone at the moment. There's just way too much like nonsense in there that like it's it's important to like my life right now. Like the emails, the phone calls, the Facebook messengers, the WhatsApps. It's crazy how like that constitutes like you know working life and business now. So like without it, you're kind of just like nowhere. You know, I remember like the one day my phone just went dark. Um, the next day I was met with a lot of like nervous emails going like, I need to reply now, I need to reply now, you know, and it just like stresses me out. So yeah. Also like I listen to all my music and all my podcasts and everything like that thing, so. It's the embarrassing thing I have ever done. Um, the first thing that comes to mind was when I was doing my first musical. It was called Spring Awakening. And we were doing this huge uh, choreographed song. And at the very end of it, before the, like at the very crescendo of the song, before it goes into like a complete bam, like off, right? We're standing on our chairs, holding microphones. We're standing on our chairs, holding microphones. The music goes up and then suddenly bam, off. As it goes off, we're supposed to jump down from our seats and sit down, right? So when that happened, I jumped down from the seat, sat down, and my microphone fell off of the stage. I uh, fell off my hands. It was stupid as hands. Like they just it fell out of my hands, and the microphone just rolled down the stage. And like mind you, the music has gone completely silent. There's absolutely no sound going on right now. And it's you know the spotlight is on us. And you just see my mic rolling further, further, further away from me. 
and like I'm just desperately trying to reach it because I need that microphone. Um, I just remember like my heart just wanted to jump out of my mouth. Yeah, it was so embarrassing. So what happened after? <laughs> um, I, I picked up the mic and just pretended nothing happened. I could tell the audience was like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I just I, and like the, the my fellow actors around me were like, you idiot. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it was it worked out. It's just those five seconds that killed me. So contrast, what would be your most and bizarre experience ever? My most bizarre experience. Okay, my most bizarre experience. I'm gonna make this like a fan story. I was doing emails outside a coffee shop once and I was just doing my emails like you know like sorting it out within the hour and suddenly this guy sits next to me and says hey are you Nathan I don't know and I'm like yeah what's up you know you know just say hi um, because um, I don't think it's nice to you know dismiss somebody when they when they want to you know, say hi to you and everything they're making an effort so yeah I said hi yeah what's up you know how are you yes you know just doing emails then he proceeds to just sit next to me for the next 45 minutes while I'm doing my emails, occasionally making small talk with me. And I just didn't know what to do with myself. I was just like, God. I didn't want to say like, I'm busy, I didn't want to say like, can you go? I was just kind of like, making small talk with him and doing my emails, going like, why? Um, but yeah, that was a very weird 45 minutes. Hey there Urban Wire, very happy birthday, happy anniversary, you're another year older you're wiser hopefully yeah thank you so much for all that you've done for the music entertainment everything in the industry and you know, covering it always being on that pulse here's to another good year